Hey Patrick, thanks very much for giving up your time to join us on Sports Scene. It's been a bit of a mixed bag for Germany at the Euros so far. Obviously, not the best performance against France, followed up by a fantastic display against Portugal, and then stumbling over the line against Hungary. How do you assess the team's performance so far? Uh, actually, uh, uh, what you just said uh, matches uh, pretty pretty good. Actually, it's uh, it's been a tough start into this tournament. Actually, but uh, the most important thing is to advance into the knockout stages, and that's what the team has uh, done um, with a bit of a struggle. That's that's uh, for sure. But um, now it's time to to regroup, to recalculate, and then uh, uh, hopefully uh, play a play a decent and, and better match against uh, England in the in the knockout stages. Is it a sign of desperation bringing the, light, the likes of Mats Hummels and Thomas Muller back into the side? Does it show a lack of depth from Jochen Love? First of all, it shows how how good um, those two guys are <laughs> bringing them back aboard. Um, I mean, Mats Hummels had a fantastic season in in the Bundesliga with Borussia Dortmund. Obviously, he's he's, uh, he's aged a bit, but still, he's in, in in good condition, good shape to 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 give this team stability. Uh, um, the same counts for 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 Thomas Müller. He's been fantastic with Bayern. Um, he's been playing fantastic for a couple of years now. He had a bit of a down down season, like I think two, two years ago. But since then, he's been nothing but uh, spectacular, actually, and very important for, for all the success Bayern München has. So, first of all, it says that those guys really deserve to spot on the team. On the other hand, um, there are a few talents uh, especially in those two positions as well, but maybe not as, um, they, they don't uh, seem to be as solid, as, uh, as stable um, as, as Jürgen Löw might have wanted them to be. So uh, I think it's not desperation, but it's, uh, it's, it's been the, the best and obvious call to, to get those guys uh, going to the Euros. Yeah, I just want to touch on Jaden Sancho because he doesn't get enough game time in the eyes of a lot of England fans. And one of the reasons for that is maybe is because he, he plays in Germany and that he's not seen enough. Do you think he does suffer a bit of discrimination against the, the scouting system because it is, it is more difficult for him to, to shine when he's playing abroad? Don't think that's that's an issue. I mean, obviously, the the world has come uh, come closer together, uh, being that international and German football is is uh, is broadcast as everywhere. So everybody probably knows about the the quality he has. He has proven that in in several games for the national team as well. And um, so I I wouldn't think it's that. Sometimes Jaden's. Um, acts a little bit outside of the box like acts a little bit of outside of the boundaries maybe that's an issue i don't know that's just speculation and it's been speculated in germany as well that there must be something going on behind the scenes that he's not playing because from his quality and from from everything he brings to the pitch he should have uh, been on the on the pitch more than, than he has uh, uh, until now but there's uh, uh, we we discussed this the the a strong team England has, the, the depth and squad, and especially going forward, you have uh, Harry Kane, Sterling, and you name it. So so many great names and great players, but Jaden Sancho is one of them, and he should have uh, gotten uh, a couple more chances to, to prove that. Germany just have that psychological edge of how to beat England, and I think it's almost like a, a shadow that's cast over the English players, that they, they don't know how to beat Germany. So it's, it's such a difficult one to predict. So who do you think has the mm. upper hand? I'd say so myself that the squad England has is fantastic. Uh, just, just I, I don't know really what's what's been going on with them. It, it's it's been quite similar. So it's not the the tournament so far for England that they probably um, predicted to have. Um, a lot of struggles in, in, internally. I think uh, the 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 whole topic around Jaden Sancho and not being you know brought on and 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 uh, and get him to play. Um, is something that's been discussed very uh, widely here in, in Germany or in Europe probably as well. Um, but it's a strong, strong team, and uh, they are in the in the round of 16 now. They can do real damage to to a, to a German team uh, on a, on a good day. And um, yeah, mentally maybe uh, that that plays into the hands of, of Germany that the the recent results or the last results were were speaking uh, towards their liking. But um, 
it doesn't count. It's 90 minutes of football, maybe a little bit more. And in the end, it's it's all about who wants it more, who, who leaves it all on the pitch, who, who takes his heart in, into his hand and really fights for, for, for the next uh, the next round. And um, England is absolutely capable of, of, of getting there. But of course, as a, as a German and a former international for Germany myself, I hope that, uh, that we'll have a great day. We'll see a fantastic game, hopefully a close one. But in the end, uh, Germany to advance into the round of eight then. And I can't let you go because uh, without giving me a prediction for the game on Tuesday, because this interview will be played um, just before the game. So go on then. What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> I mean, they play in Wembley and uh, it wasn't all smiles uh, all the time uh, when, when Germany played England in Wembley. I, I remember something. It's a long while back uh, to 66 or something. But since then, <laughs> uh, we did quite OK against, uh, against England. So I hope uh, more of that and uh, not a big reminder of 1966. I, I think that uh, Germany, in a very close game, very spectacular game, um, will advance into the next round. <laughs> you, you've got to give us 66. We haven't shut up about it since. <laughs> okay, Patrick, thank you very much for joining us on Sports Scene. All the best. You're welcome.